how to add contact form 7 submissions to google sheets automatically so what will happen every time a new form submission is received that you have built via contact form 7 all the form submission details will be added automatically to Google Sheets. In this way, you do not have to manually export the form submission data and paste it in Google Sheets again and again. So if you also want to automate this process, come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the contact form plugin which is already installed in my WordPress website. Several forms are already created and now I will create a new form in front of you. So assume that I'm running some interior designing service, okay? I'm actually offering some interior designing services for which I want to create an inquiry form so that people can actually make an inquiry by filling out that form, okay? So I want to collect the first name of the person, okay? So I have added the same i also want to collect the last name of the person i do not want the subject line and your message well i can keep this your message field but i do not want the subject line so instead of that i am adding the phone number field okay so i'm adding i'm clicking on this text button and firstly i will make it required in place of this text 353 i will add something like phone number okay so i have added the same the default value well use this text as the place holder of the field all right and now giving a space clicking on insert text and this is how the phone number field will be added okay and if you want this label that is this first name this your name along with this particular field you can add this label okay but uh, firstly i'll show you how your form will look like okay so firstly i will save this form and will copy the code of my form okay so i have saved it successfully and copy this short code and paste it into your post page or text widget content okay so let me first copy this okay and before that how about i change the name of this form something like inquiry form for interior designing services okay so i have updated the name now i'll click on the save button once again and again i will copy the short code of this particular form okay now i will open some random page of my wordpress website okay so here are the pages and now i will embed my form into one of my page okay so how about i create a new page here and here i will paste the code and let me again give the name something like inquiry form for interior designing services so i have provided the name to my page as well inquiry form for interior designing service now i am going to publish this page in front of you and firstly i'll show you the preview of my page basically preview of my form so here you can notice inquiry form for interior designing service here we have the first name here we have the your email field here we have that phone number field and this, there is no label attached currently okay so let me first attach the label okay so this was my form okay i will visit this form section once again and here i will edit my form which was inquiry form for interior designing services okay and here along with this phone number field i will add the label also okay so let me paste the same and in place of your email i will write your phone number okay so i have added the same and make sure that you also close this label okay if you have started initiated this label then you will have to close this label also here okay so first name email phone number and lastly i would also like to collect the information that what particular thing they would like to design for that i will add a drop down menu okay and here firstly i will add some option like whether they want to design an office or restaurant further a hotel or a salon okay so i have added four option again making it required okay and now i will click on this insert text and again i will provide a label something like what you would like us 
to design okay so i have also added a label and again do not forget to close this particular label okay clicking on the save button and remember this was the page in which i have embedded the form let me directly refresh my page and here you can notice the label is appear and here we have this drop down also okay and now i am going to connect this form with my google sheet so that i can capture the responses in my spreadsheet and in this spreadsheet you can notice i have already added the fields like the first name last name email phone and what design what you would like us to design okay so because i have not included any last name field in my form so currently i am deleting this particular field now in order to send the form submission data to google sheets i will have to build an integration in these two application and i am going to do that with the help of pabli connect which is an integration and automation software okay i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test these kind of amazing automation okay so once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect firstly you'll have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i am providing the name as sync contact form 7 submissions with the google sheets okay so i have provided a random name now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so when something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that whenever any new form submission is received in this contact form 7 plugin then automatically add the form submission data in this google sheets application okay so i have select did both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us first connect the contact form 7 with pabli connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger event that is whenever a new form submission is received this automation show trigger okay so yes i want to perform the same that whenever any new form submission is received in my query form for interior designing services the form submission data should be captured via pabli connect for which i will have to connect this form with the pabli connect with the help of this webhook url well the instruction for the same are already given here okay so firstly you will have to copy this webhook url and paste it into that form now where exactly you can paste this particular url okay so here you will find the option of webhook but this option will be not visible in the same way okay you will have to firstly install this particular plugin okay that is install and activate the contact form 7 plugin from the plugin section in the wordpress dashboard okay so if you will click on this hyperlink it will redirect you to that specific perfect plugin so either you can download this plugin from here and then you can visit the plugin section of your wordpress website and from here you can upload the very same plugin and activate the plugin okay so as soon as you activate the same plugin you will notice this webhooks option here in your form okay so this is the plugin section simply click on this add a new button and here you will find an option of upload plugin simply download this plugin and upload the zip file of that plugin here and finally activate click on activate button and this is how as soon as you do that this webhook option will appear here in my case this plugin is already installed okay so i will take again take you to my plugin section but currently i will visit this installed plugin section okay let me search for the same plugin that is cf72 webhook basically contact form 72 webhook okay so this is the installed section of my plugins and here you can notice that 
that this plugin is already installed and activated okay but if i will deactivate this plugin in front of you you will notice that this webhook option will disappear from here immediately okay let me refresh and show you here you can notice that option is currently not visible okay and now i will activate this plugin once again and you will notice that the same webhook option will start it visible here in this inquiry form for interior designing service okay and in this way you can firstly enable the webhook option in your contact form 7 plugin basically along with your contact form 7 plugin and after that simply copy this webhook url and paste it into that specific form whose data you would like to capture okay so simply check this box that is send it to webhook and here paste this url okay and now click on save and this is how the webhook url will be saved here and that means the connection in pabli connect and in our contact form 7 is done okay so coming back to pabli connected dashboard and here you can see that it is waiting for the webhook response okay so read the note that is now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do our test submission or record so yes we are going to perform the same we are going to make a dummy submission in our form okay for now i am closing this landing page and let me also close this particular plugin page okay and here i will firstly submit my inquiry form for interior designing service okay so currently i will provide some dummy details only okay this is just a dummy form submission okay so demo user at the rate pablitudes.com okay you will have to assume that some person is actually making a new inquiry by filling out this form okay adding a random phone number okay so i have added the same so i want to design my home okay i'm adding this particular name added the same and how about i add 3 bhk duplex okay 3 bhk duplex Alright, so this is the message the user is actually sending to these people and here I will select something like alright the option is not available here. So currently I'll go with office only now clicking on the submit button and as soon as the submission is made here you will notice that the form submission data will be received here as a response okay so you can see that within a few clicks basically in few seconds the response is received let me show you the details one by one so here we have the name of the person here we have the message here we have the email address the menu and here we have the phone number okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in public connect and in contact form 7 is working absolutely fine okay so now now onwards every time someone will submit your form the details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done moving further now i am going to add these form submission data in google sheets application so the application is already selected simply select the add a new row action event and just like we have connected contact form 7 and public connect now i will connect this google sheets with the pabli connect okay so you will have to click on the sign in with google button and then you'll have to provide the access of your google sheets account okay but i have provided this gmail access multiple times so instead of going with the new connection i am going with the existing connection okay so you can also go with the existing connection if you have already provided the access in the first time okay so this is how you will notice that my google sheets account will be immediately immediately connected with the public connect and whatever the spreadsheets i have created inside my google sheets account have started visible here okay but currently i would like to send the form submission data in this specific spreadsheet that is inquiries received via form okay so i will select the same and it is visible at the top because this is the most recent sheet i have created in this select sheet because i have a single sheet so again it has got selected selected automatically and as soon as you select the spreadsheet here whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet all these columns 
will be fetched as a fields here in Pabli Connected dashboard. Okay, so you can see the same. And now I will provide the details one by one, and you will notice how this Google Sheets will be updated. Okay, and the interesting thing here is I'm not going to manually copy this form submission data and paste it one by one in these fields. Basically, I'm going to map this data. Okay, and mapping is very simple inside Pabli Connect. When you will click on this field, you will find the above data here in the drop down simply select your data and this is how the values will be mapped okay and what is the importance of mapping so whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay yes it is going to happen that as soon as a new form submission is received that new form submission will be captured via public connect and because we are mapping the data all these existing data will be replaced automatically last lady is asking what uh, you would like us to design okay so let me map the same value which was office okay so i have selected the same now i'll click on this button and will wait for the response to receive here and here you can notice the response is received going back to my spreadsheet and here you can notice the same data has been added here automatically and it is the same form submission data which we have provided did at the time of form submission at the time of contact form submission okay let me correct the formatting so that you can see the data very clearly okay so this is the same name the same email the same phone number and the same message okay so in this way you can connect your google sheets with the contact form 7 and automatically send the form submission data to google sheets with the help of pabli connect yes you just need to create this automation inside pabli connect once after that, you can sit back and relax because Public Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually, okay? And just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own Public Connect account, I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box. So simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the Public Connect, and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Public Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.